Making a quick scan in the Epson T5270 with a scanner attachment brought to you by Pro Digital Gear and your favorite voiceover dude. Assuming that your printer is already set up correctly, that you have a hard drive installed, and that you are connected to a network, go ahead and power on your scanner. Make sure that scanner is plugged into a power source and connected to your printer. Go ahead and power on your printer. Scroll over to the settings icon all the way on the right. Take a picture of your IP address. Align your document with this line right here and carefully load it into the scanner. The scanner will pull in the document. Now go to Google Chrome, look at that lovely picture you took of your IP address and enter it into your browser. Now you might get this little warning that comes up that says your connection is not private and that your computer might be hacked by aliens, but who cares, click on the advanced button here and proceed to your unsafe IP address. Do so at your own risk, of course. Then go to Copy Center. Then go to the Configuration setting icon. Rename it to whatever you'd like. Go down to the bottom and click Register. When you see that it's been registered here on this screen, go ahead and click OK. Now go ahead to the Scan tab. As you can see, you have different types of settings, like document type, resolution. Make sure that you're saving to your HDD or your hard drive in your printer. As you can see, you can also choose JPEG or PDF. Go down to the bottom and start your scan. And once it's done, we can go to our file list. Da -da -da! There's our scanned image. Now if we click and highlight that, and go to the bottom and hit download, we can then change our save location to wherever we want on our computer. Click save, and your document will download. Then go back to your scan tab, go down to the bottom, and hit the eject document button. Your scanner will eject the document so you can take it away, and then you'll be all done. ProDigitalGear is not responsible for aliens hacking your computer. ProDigitalGear.com